Hi folks, welcome to SECLiveNews.com. I'm Pete Cordelli, and we are now going to turn to our rating of the players by position in the Southeastern Conference for the 2009 season. We're going to rate players based on position specifics, and it's a grading and evaluation system that I was fortunate enough to learn when I was a scout for the Dallas Cowboys, and we're also going to rate them on their production. There are so many great players in this league. We are going to start with the most important position, I believe, and that's the quarterback. Everyone knows about the great quarterbacks to come out of the Southeastern Conference. But in 2009, the three top-rated quarterbacks, according to SECLiveNews.com, are number one, Tim Tebow. How can you not say that Mr. Tebow, after two national championships, a Heisman Trophy, and what a productive year he had last year in 2008. 30 touchdown passes to only four interceptions. That's one touchdown pass in every 10 passes. One interception in every 74 passes. That has defensive coordinators pulling their hair out. And Tim Tebow has made a commitment to get better for his final year as a Florida Gator. We can't wait to see Tim Tebow in his senior season. He made so much improvement in the 2008 season, especially with his throwing mechanics, his ability to throw on the run and make accurate throws under duress with the game on the line. That comes from countless hours in the weight room where he really improved his strength and also the quickness of his release. He's done a much better job of getting out on the perimeter, squaring his shoulders up to the target, and putting the ball right on the money. The other thing that Urban Meyer and the Florida Gators offense has done is with that little play-action fake where Tebow will take the ball in the shotgun, he'll step forward like he's attacking the line on the quarterback lead, draw the linebackers to him, and then step back and throw the seam route or the go route, and he has developed excellent accuracy, and not to mention... He's got some pretty good receivers to throw it to as well. Now, Tim Tebow, without question, is the number one rated quarterback for the 2009 season, according to SEC Live News. Our second rated quarterback will be Jevin Sneed of the Ole Miss Rebels. Jevin Sneed is a transfer from Texas, played his high school football at Stephenville High School, Texas. But last year, as the season went on for Coach Houston Nutt and the Ole Miss Rebels, Jevin Sneed continued to get better every week. 26 touchdown passes, but he had 13 interceptions. I think part of that was learning the new system. Remember, Jevin Sneed came to Ole Miss when Ed Elgeron was the head coach. Dan Warner was the offensive coordinator. Then in the coaching change, Houston Nutt comes from Arkansas, but he brings back to Oxford a former Ole Miss quarterback, who went on and did a great job as a head coach up in Canada, won the Great Cup, and that's Ken Austin. Ken Austin is the offensive coordinator, quarterback coach at Ole Miss, and he's done an excellent job with Jevin in the 2008 season of getting Jevin to understand he has a strong arm, but he doesn't need to force the ball into coverage. He doesn't need to take risks when he doesn't have to. If he'll just take what the defense gives him, Jevin Sneed has the potential to really lead this Ole Miss offense again in 2009. And the third best rated quarterback, according to SECLiveNews.com, it's going to come as a surprise, a shock to many of you, is Jordan Jefferson. That's right, he was a true freshman last year, the rising sophomore for LSU. Now, it's not Jefferson's fault that he didn't play until the end of the year, but Gary Croton, Les Miles, they started the season out relying on a stable of running backs. But they also knew that once people loaded the box, put eight, nine men up, LSU was going to have to do something in the passing game and also get a mobile quarterback to avoid the blitz. Jordan Jefferson came on and did a tremendous job in the last five ball games of the season and in the bowl game played extremely well against Georgia Tech. He was 16 of 25 throwing the football, 142 yards, one touchdown, had 25 yards rushing. But Jordan Jefferson showed the ability 
to make the first defender miss, especially on the rush. And he could make plays with his feet. He's throwing the ball very well. And I believe that the LSU people will be extremely pleased with the progress Jordan Jefferson makes for the LSU Tigers in 2009. Gary Croton's been in this position before. He's one of the best offensive coordinators in the country, bar none. Coach Croton knows exactly what to do with Jordan Jefferson, and Jefferson also has some pretty big-time receivers to get the ball to. Now, you say, what about the other quarterbacks in the SEC? Well, when we look around the league, you know, a guy that has come into the SEC as a transfer as well is Ryan Mallett. He is now going to be the starting quarterback at the University of Arkansas for Coach Bobby Petrino. But Mallett, from Texarkana, Texas, originally signed with Michigan. But then in the coaching change, didn't want to play for Rich Rodriguez. Came home, said he'd always been a Razorback fan. And now that Bobby Petrino was in Fayetteville with this high-powered offense, wanted to play for the Razorbacks. Well, he was redshirted last year, sat out, did a tremendous job on the scout team, and then had a heck of a spring. So much so that Coach Petrino and the Razorbacks last Friday announced Ryan Mallett will be the starting quarterback for the Razorbacks going into the season. At 6'7", the guy has great vision. The one thing that Ryan Mallett has to improve on is foot quickness, the ability to slide against the rush, step up in the pocket, avoid the sack. That's yet to be seen. I know this. The Arkansas defense put on some pressure. And Mallett had a little trouble early. But as the spring went on, Coach Petrino, his brother Paul Petrino, who's the offensive coordinator, felt like Mallett picked up the offense and moved into the starting role. It will be fun watching Ryan Mallett make progress in Bobby Petrino's system. You know, Coach Petrino was the offensive coordinator for the Jacksonville Jaguars when Tom Coughlin was the head coach there. And he had a guy by the name of Mark Brunel. Tom Coughlin has said, Bobby Petrino is the best play caller I've ever seen in pro football. You know, look at what he did at Louisville. He's put some high-powered quarterbacks into the National Football League. And I think the Hog fans really have high expectations for Ryan Mallett, Bobby Petrino, to get that same thing done at Arkansas. The next best quarterback, I think, has got to be Steven Garcia South Carolina. And when you're playing for Steve Spurrier, he really, really relishes developing quarterbacks. Look at what he did at Florida. Now Garcia comes to South Carolina with all this hype out of Tampa, Florida. But Garcia's been so inconsistent off the field as well as on the field. And I think that's the one thing that has driven Steve Spurrier absolutely crazy. In fact, I guess they had to order extra visors. He's thrown so many away just in frustration out of the quarterback play at South Carolina. Is Garcia the unknown factor for South Carolina this year? We have to wait and see. Another unknown is Chris Nixon at Vanderbilt. A dynamic player, has excellent feet, excellent vision, can make plays on the run. Problem is, when he gets hit, you don't know if he's going to get up holding his arm, holding his shoulder. It's durability. That's the question mark concerning Chris Nixon. When Nixon goes out, then you have Mackenzie Adams who comes in. So really you're playing in a two-quarterback system. I know Bobby Johnson would like to settle on one. And the one guy that gives defensive coordinators nightmares right now is Chris Nixon. But not durable enough at this point in his career. Too inconsistent. Then we can go down the list. Is Joe Cox going to be able to take over from Matthew Stafford at Georgia, yet to be determined. How about Greg McElroy, another Texas quarterback playing in the Southeastern Conference. He put up a lot of big numbers at South Lake Carroll in South Lake, Texas. But will he be able to thrive in this Alabama offense under Nick Saban, yet to be seen? Kentucky, they're playing with two quarterbacks, Hartline and Cobb. Don't know how productive they're going to be. Auburn. New head coach, new offensive coordinator, Cardinal and Burns. Who's going to be the starter at Auburn? And then Tennessee? Who knows? Mississippi State? Who knows? Yet to be determined. So, you know, at the top of the scale, you have Tim Tebow, 
not only the best in the SEC, the best in the nation. Jevin Snead, who many NFL scouts say, well, coming out for the 2010 draft, he's the highest rated underclass quarterback we have out there. That's high praise for Jevin Snead. Jefferson, the unknowns then in the middle of the pack, and then the real big question marks at some other schools, 2009 is going to be a fun year to watch the development of the quarterback in the Southeastern Conference.